Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to actually redo one of my previous tutorials which is the how to enhance a six pack in Photoshop and the reason for this is that first of all the first tutorial that I did wasn't really recorded that well and I spoke very unclearly in it so I'm hoping this one will go better uh, let's try and see what we're going to produce so I'll turn these layers on right here or this group and this is what it'll look like afterwards if you think that's too extreme you can skip the step of enlarging the actual muscles like this and you can see this is quite a dramatic difference anyways so let's get started first of all create two new layers and set them to soft light I'm not going to name the layers right now because just for the sake of time but set the blending mode to soft light and get a um a brush and you want to make sure it's a really soft brush and that your foreground color is set to black so press D to do that and then zoom zoom in really far and start painting in the shadows of um of the apps right here so that's basically just the bottom part here and as you can see right now my opacity is to 50 just so that I can have greater leverage with my fill or my pa the opacity of the layer over here alright so I filled in the shadows now and as you can see it looks crap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into the opacity slider and just crank it all the way down you know around 17, 12, around those um, low two digit numbers. I'm actually going to take it to 12 just because I like this to be subtle. Um, as you can see, this is before we did any of these things, and this is after. So it's subtle, but it definitely makes a difference. And we're going to go ahead and tweak it a bit later. So now you want to uh, switch your foreground color to white. Do this by pressing X and then you just want to do the opposite of this now you want to enhance all the highlights so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how you we can tweak this to customize it for every single app okay so now I'm back and as you can see I painted in the highlights I just did it really quickly just to so I could get back to this tutorial but you get the point here of how you just um, look at where the light is originally and you just enhance that you could actually go ahead and paint the entire app except for the shadow areas and it does make a good result in some cases but um, that's just up to the case in this case it doesn't so um, let's go ahead and reduce the opacity of this one as well and I really find that the highlights don't need to go as low as the shadows but as you can see over here it doesn't really look that good and just down here so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a layer mask and on this layer mask we're going to paint again with a 50% opacity just so because we don't want to hide it completely we just want to fade it in right here so just go like that and we can also get it right up here and down here so we don't have that really sharp edge and I'm actually going to go ahead and paint it back in up here because I liked it better when it was visible so I'm just using my uh, the numbers here 1 and 2 and 3 and 5 and 4 uh, yeah all the numbers right here to uh, change the opacity on my brush up here so we're just gonna fade all these things in maybe just give it a little nudge up here and then we can do the same thing on the shadow layer mask but I don't really think it's necessary perhaps we just want to do it down here just fade that in so it's not as dramatic it looks like something's wrong with the stomach we don't want that so now we've done our dodging and burning or shadow and highlight enhancing so we'll make a group for that I'll just call it DNG um, and as you can see this is a huge difference already 
Now what we're going to do to make the very last and final touch is we want to actually take each individual muscle and physically make it bigger with the liquify filter. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to get a lasso tool to press L for, la for the lasso tool and zoom in and let's just take this app right here and just draw around it to select it and as you can see up in the toolbar right up in uh, the top left corner of Photoshop I have a feather of two pixels uh, now it'll of course depend on on the size of your image but I generally recommend having a little bit of feather on just so it doesn't get sharp and disgusting edges so now press Control command c to copy it make a new layer and paste it right on there by pressing command or control b then go to filter and liquify and in the liquify filter right here we want to get the bloat tool and we want to make it just a tiny bit bigger than our muscle here and you can use the bracket keys and then press a couple of times to make it bigger now you've seen how I've done it I'm just gonna pause the video I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you the final result okay so now I've gone ahead and done all the apps and as you can see when I turn this layer on and off I've also just done some tweaking to some of the apps uh, in their shape because naturally when you develop a six-pack it's not gonna be totally equal on both sides just because your body's not symmetrical so if you wish to have it look uh, even and equal you can go ahead and do that in the liquify filter as well so let's go ahead and look at the look at the before and after pictures this is before and this is after now it looks all monster like now so if you don't like that you can either not go ahead and enlarge the apps individually or you can just go ahead and do it a bit less than I've done here so this is what it would look like without the apps being enlarged but with the dodging and burning on this is before and this is after with the dodging and burning so you can see the difference here and you get the technique you can do this for a lot of things um, just use your imagination if you like this make sure to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye